as a uh, high school educator, um, I didn't always I didn't always know that I would be a teacher. First of all, um, growing up here in Sussex County, my father he caught chickens. My mom she cleaned hospital rooms. Um, both of my parents they got their GED after during their adult years. Uh, didn't finish high school. Um, didn't go to college. So, so me as a as a young as a as a youth, I looked at them as parents who still instilled in me education matter and learning matters and doing whatever you want to do, it, it matters. Uh, one thing that always stood out to me was dinner time. Sometimes around the kitchen table was a, a place where my family and I could, could gather, share good memories, good stories, and uh, eat food. And food was something that was a staple to our house. Watching my mother cook, watching my father cook, watching my father burn food all the time sometimes and I, one day I, I woke up and I said you know what I'm gonna challenge my dad that I can make Sunday breakfast so I was about 12 13 years old and I got up went to the kitchen and I uh, put on some sausage some pancakes and eggs Sunday morning before church my brothers and sisters woke up came to the kitchen they were amazed nice beautiful scrambled eggs pancakes nice and done, sausage links, everything nice and brown, and the fire alarm didn't go off. Sometimes my father, when he cooked, the fire alarm would go off. So uh, my, my mom, she was a little, little smiling on him like, yeah, your son, he, he, he did a good job today, did a good job today. So um, my first job was working at Bargain Bill's restaurant. I was about 14 years old, and I, how did I get the job? I, I prank called them. I called them asking them, hey, are you guys hiring? Messing around? And they said, yes, we, we're hiring. You gotta come fill our patient out. I was like, wow. So my boy said, hey man, they're, they're hiring. You know, we, we're calling around uh, summer afternoon, prank calling people, doing stuff that teenagers should not be doing. And uh, I could possibly have a job opportunity. Father drove me up there to the restaurant, filled my application out. Next thing you know, got called for an interview. 14 years old. I got the job. Had to fill out a uh, job form, work permit. Fill the work permit out to uh, be able to work. And here I am, a cashier in a restaurant, all from prank calling the restaurant. And that basically started my introduction into working in the restaurant industry. So from there, moved to various different jobs, including fast food, uh, working at the beach. And opportunity came to go to college to play football, being a big guy. As you can see, uh, football was something that kept me motivated through school. Sports, track and field, wrestling, kept me motivated through school. And uh, once I got a scholarship to play football at Delaware State University, I asked myself, self, what is it that you're going to major in? I said, wait a minute, they have a hospitality and tourism management program. I said, you know what? Looked at the curriculum, I saw food production. Rubbed my stomach a little bit. I saw restaurant management, rubbed it again. I said, you know what? I'm gonna major in hospitality and tourism management. The best decision I ever made in my life. Greatest four years of my life. Meeting new people, being the first one in my family to go to college, creating experiences and meeting, meeting people who can uplift you in a way that you've never been uplifted before. And that was the, the opportunity that I took that, that invested in myself to make me the person who I am today. Excuse me. After I graduated from college, I wanted to work on a cruise ship. I wanted to work in a college. I wanted to work everywhere. I wanted to work in restaurant management. Um, had a few interviews, didn't get the jobs that I wanted. I thought the salary wasn't high enough for me to live on my own. A typical college grad, you feel as that you're, you're above the world now because you have a little degree behind yourself that you deserve everything. Right now, right here, car, two-car garage, house. Nah, that wasn't, that wasn't the case. So I turned down some restaurant jobs and teaching fell into my lap. I got a phone call from a friend. She said, hey, you're a big guy, just graduated from college. There's an alternative school in Wilmington, Delaware that needs a gym teacher. So I said, you know what? I could do that. 
drove from good old Seaford, Delaware, after I moved out of my dorm room, moved back home to my mom. I worked at John Genasi's furniture store for two months. Drove to Wilmington, interviewed at Turner School, just to be a gym teacher. They told me I would have summers off, paid summers off, vacations and spring break. And being 22 years old, I was like, hey, I'm going to get out a try. I never thought I would be a teacher, never. I was a kid in classroom who would always raise my hand for every answer, who would always tap on my desk whenever my work was done. I was distracting others often in class, having, having a good old time. At the same time, I wanted to challenge people next to me that I can get a higher grade than you on the spelling test. I'm going to get a higher grade than you on the math test, yup. I'm going to have the nicest shoes that you have or the nicest clothes or the, the newest book bag, but you know what? My test score is going to be better than yours, buddy. You just watch. Needless to say, I got the job in Wilmington, and that launched me into having a love for youth. And, and it, it, showed me, it showed me something that I never saw before, and that was that education is life. Education is life. And, and being a teacher at 22 years old, working with students who were kicked out of their high school because of behavior, the middle school and high school because of behavior problems was a huge, huge challenge. It's, it's, it, was the, it was the biggest learning curve that I ever faced. Um, it showed me compassion. It showed me how to love uh, and how to have patience, which is most importantly, how to have patience with youth. And um, needless to say, after I finished there, here I am now, nine years later, still teaching our youth. Culinary arts, chopping, dicing, baking, slicing, composing ingredients to make a wonderful product. Those four years at Delaware State University taught me those things. How to make food pretty, how to make it right, and most importantly, how to keep it safe. We all want to have safe food. No one wants to go to the hospital. Nine years after teaching, uh, three years ago, 2014, excuse me, two years ago, 2014, I had an idea. After always watching the news, seeing our youth get in trouble, teenagers in the news for crime, uh, various different things. I asked myself, how can I help, not just in the school system, but outside of the school? I said, you know what? You should be a food tutor. You should be a food tutor. 2014, May, food tutor. That came to my head. Food tutor. What's a food tutor look like? Well, rather than going to someone's home and doing math problems like a regular tutor would be, I would be tutoring with food. So as I'm laying at home, I'm asking myself, what can I call this service? It was a bizarre. It just, it just hit me all of a sudden. How can I go into the community and do something positive with our youth? I said, I'm going to give my business a name. What's the most commonly used kitchen utensil? Who can answer that? What's the most commonly used kitchen utensil? A spatula. So I said, you know what? A spatula. A spatula. I want to use a, a kitchen utensil so it can kind of build a connection to the name of the concept. A spatula. Spatula. They're going to be learning. Spatula. Spatula. Learn. It flowed right. It sounded right. I asked a few people, hey, how do you like the word spatula? What does that mean to you? It's a, a spatula cooking. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, good. What about whisk kids? Whisk kids? Wait, that's too much of a tongue twister. What would spatula learn? Drew up a, dial, a picture of how I wanted the logo to look. Got an artist to draw it better. Got a graphic organizer to uh, put it on a, a, a digital. And it was born. I had my logo. I had to, uh, 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 excuse me, I built a website. I had to get licensed through the state of Delaware, get insurance. And I said, you know what, self? Let's go out to the community and let's see if churches, homes, after school programs, uh, child care facilities, see if they want cooking lessons that incorporate academics as well. How does it work? Well, 
if a child is uh, in sixth grade, let's say fifth grade, and they're struggling with fractions, one half plus uh, one third and three fourths plus half, uh, numerator, denominator, lowest common multiple, Let's do a math lesson for about 15 minutes. Then after that, we're going to do a cooking lesson. So here we are doing a, cooking, doing a math lesson, adding fractions, reducing fractions. Now we're going to look at a recipe. A recipe has fractions. So now we're, we're actually applying what we learned to a recipe. Hey, we're going to make blueberry muffins now. My first client was a friend of mine's daughter. Uh, we did a, a math lesson. Fractions, added fractions, and after we added the fractions, we made blueberry muffins from scratch. Blueberries, baking powder, salt, sugar, flour, uh, oil, eggs. Had some nice blueberries done afterwards, and the, the child actually saw the connection between the fractions and the final product. And this has been going. This is it's, it's been so eye-opening because now. I mean, the, uh, the next phase of mine is to actually put students who are in culinary arts to do what I do all around the state of Delaware. I've worked in Newcastle County Detention Center, Woodbridge School District, let's just take adult division, various homes throughout here in Delaware, West End Neighborhood House, um, different churches. Just they, they, it's just been it's been it's been great. So needless to say, this is something that I believe in wholeheartedly, that Spatular is going to be a way to connect our youth, to increase academic retention, and to also provide students with the ability to be independent when they're at home, cooking and learning for themselves. Thank you so much for your time.